Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be picking the winner of the name change giveaway and I'm also going to be answering some questions and talking about some topics that you all asked me to talk about on Instagram. So I'm going to start off with the giveaway first. I have all the entries right here on my laptop and I'm just going to ask Siri to pick a random number. Pick a number between 1 and 11. The answer is 2. So the winner is the second person, which is Drew. So I'm going to be emailing Drew after I finish filming this video to get all the information for the court and everything. I really wish that I could pay for every single person's name change on this list, but unfortunately I don't have that kind of money. It took me so long to save up just enough money to pay for one person's name change. But I have been working on something that I'm going to be launching in late December or early January that has to do with all this so that I can hopefully help more people get access to name change resources and funding. But when everything's sorted out with that, I'll probably make another video announcing all of that. And I'm still doing the name change paperwork completely for free. My finals are coming up pretty soon, so there might be a little bit of a delay, So I promise I'll get to all the requests eventually. So now I'm going to go to Instagram and get the questions and topics. A lot of these are about the fire and the air quality, so I guess I'll talk about that first. First question is, what is the mask for? I've been wearing this mask in a lot of my Instagram story posts, and that's because the air quality has been really bad where I live. It's been in the unhealthy range for days, so I was wearing this mask a lot during the week when I had to go outside. I've heard that these are sold out in a lot of places that are experiencing bad air quality, but if you live in one of those areas and you can get your hands on one of these, I would highly recommend doing that. The next question is about whether the fire is near where I am or not and it's not close to where I am but the smoke has traveled over here. There's actually two fires in California that are going on right now. One of them is in Southern California and one of them is in Northern California. The Northern California one is obviously closer to me because I live in the Bay Area but it is still more than 200 miles away from me so that smoke has traveled all the way down here and it's affecting us right here. The next question is what do you think about school being canceled possibly for this coming week? For those of you that don't know I go to San Jose State and my school was canceled on Thursday and Friday and my work on campus was also closed on Thursday and Friday and this person is asking if I think that school will be closed on Monday and Tuesday. I'm not completely sure yet. I haven't really heard anything from the administration but I think it's a possibility. I think that school might be canceled. I feel like there's pros and cons to them canceling school next week. The pros are obviously that we don't have to breathe that terrible air quality but the cons for the cons could potentially be that they might extend the school year by a little bit and I don't really want them to do that because I'm planning on leaving on December 22nd to go to the east coast to see my family who I haven't seen in a few years but I hope the air quality improves by Monday so that they don't have to cancel school. School. It's currently at 174 in San Jose and I'm filming this on Saturday night. The next question is where's the mask from? I posted a picture on Friday on my story. I'll insert it right here. And in that post I was wearing a purple sparkly mask and that mask is this mask right here. It is the Prism Purple Peel Off Mask with charcoal powder from the brand Bliss. I got this at Target and I really like it so far. I've only used it once but I feel like it worked pretty well. It did kind of hurt a little bit when I was taking it off but it took all my dry skin off which was really awesome. So I absolutely recommend this mask. And I also really like this brand in general. I have a moisturizer from them, which is really great. And the brand is cruelty free, which is also really awesome. The next question is what's happening with your insurance? I posted a picture to my Instagram story, I think on Thursday, of me sending a letter to a company's benefits department. If you've watched some of my other videos about this, you probably know that I've been in an insurance mess since the beginning of this year. Basically, I was put on my mom's insurance without permission. I went through a whole process to get off of it because I wanted to choose my own insurance and I wanted to get on an insurance that covered immunotherapy because I have really bad allergies. And because open enrollment just started at a lot of companies I started to get a little bit worried about about all that happening again this year so I went on someone else's LinkedIn account and I looked up my mom and I figured out what company she worked at and then I googled the company and I couldn't find a phone number for them so I sent them a letter in the actual mail asking them to take me off my mom's insurance if I was put on it it's hopefully that'll work because I really want to stay on Aetna insurance because they completely cover immunotherapy which is normally extremely expensive and I also have prescriptions for my allergies that are really expensive without insurance so hopefully I'll be able to get all of this sorted out but I'll keep you updated on what's going on with that. The next question is, are you going to law school? A lot of people have been asking me this question because of my name change videos and because I kind of know more about law than most 21 year olds, but I'm not planning on going to law school, at least right now. I didn't, but I don't really want to do it for my career and I also can't afford it at all and I can't get financial aid until I'm 26. The next question is, why don't you make college admissions videos anymore? As all of you that are watching this probably found me from my college admissions videos, but I'm at a point now where I feel like there's nothing else that I really want to say on the topic. But if any of you have any college admissions related topics that you want me to talk about, feel free to comment those down below and I'll make a video about it. So I just got another question while I was filming this and it's asking what Trump said in his speech today. For those of you that don't know, Trump came to California and talked to Jerry Brown and Gavin Newsom and some other state and local officials about the fires in California and he was basically saying that the fire was our fault because we didn't do enough breaking. I was with the president of Finland and he said we're a forest nation and they spent a lot of time on breaking and cleaning and doing things and breaking and cleaning and doing things and breaking and cleaning and doing things. 
And he was saying that other countries such as Finland didn't have problems with fires because they're raking, I think this is a complicated problem. But one of the main reasons, in my opinion, why all of these fires have been happening is because we've been in a drought because of climate change. There's a lot of dead leaves, there's a lot of dead trees, there's a lot of dead grass. It's very easy for things to catch on fire when they're very dry like that. But Trump basically denied all of that. A journalist even asked him if he changed his mind on climate change and he said that he didn't. Does it seem devastation change your opinion at all on climate change, Mr. President? No, no. I have a strong opinion. I want great climate we're going to have that and we're going to have forests that are very safe i honestly don't know how jerry brown and gavin newsom were able to contain themselves through all that but somehow they did um i probably would have yelled at him but if he sends us some rakes i guess that would be pretty cool we can use them to take off his wig so those are all the questions and topics that i'm going to talk about today thank you all so much for watching stay awesome and i'll see all of you very soon with a new video goodbye